Okay, sorry for the bleed through. I don't have another paper with me, so you're just going to have to deal with it. Now we're going to do the, reg the area of the regular polygon when we're actually not given the apothem, we're given the radius, and we have to find the apothem. So what the radius is, is the radius is what you see here. It goes from the center to a vertex. The apothem, remember, goes from the center to the opposite to one of the sides at a 90 degree angle. It's the perpendicular distance. So I'm going to look at number 11. I want to find my apothem. My apothem, though, is going to form a right triangle, right? OK. The radius of a regular polygon is going to bisect the corner angles. It's going to bisect it. It's going to cut it in half. Now, if this is a regular triangle, that means it's equilateral, right? And if it's equilateral, what does that mean all three angles are? They're all 60s, right? Well, if that one's 60 and it's cut in half, what does that give you? 30s. There we go, 30, 60, 90 triangle. I'm going to pull that little bitty triangle out so you can see it. Now, in this triangle here, all right, in this triangle here, I know that the radius, which is the hypotenuse of my triangle, is 18. I know this is 30, which means that's 60. Now, if you remember the ratio in a 30, 60, 90 triangle, in a 30, 60, 90 triangle, the smallest side across from the 30 is x. The hypotenuse is twice as big as x. And the side across from the 60 is x times the square root of 3. Well, look what I have. My hypotenuse is 18. So what's the side opposite the 30 going to be? Half as big. So over here, the side opposite the 30 is this one. Do you all see that? In this one, it's here. In this one, it's here. So this is going to be 9. And that's all we need. That's my apothem. This would be 9 square roots of 3, but we don't really, uh, well, I guess we do need that. That'll be 9 square roots of 3. So again, the hypotenuse is twice as big as the one across from the 30. So that's why 18 went to 9. And then the one across from the 60 is 9 square root of 3, just like the pattern. Now what do we do? What is my apothem now? It's 9. So I know my apothem is 9. Now I've got to find my perimeter. Well, this piece right here is 9 square roots of 3, right? Halfway. So what's it going to be all the way across? 18 square roots of 3, all the way across, right? Because it's double. 9 square roots of 3 times 2 is 18 square roots of 3. So how do I find the perimeter of my triangle? It's going to be three sides at 18 square root of 3 apiece. Because again, this is 9 square roots of 3. We found that. And that's half. So the whole thing would be 18 square roots of 3. So if I multiply, I can only multiply the 3 and the 18 together because the, the other 3 here is under the radical. We can't go inside and outside together. So 3 times 18 is 54. So my perimeter is 54 square roots of 3. So now let's do the area. The area would be 1 half the apothem. And what's my apothem? It's up here. It's 9, which is 9 over 1. 1 half the apothem times my perimeter, which is 54 square roots of 3. Again, that's over 1. So I multiply straight across. 1 times 9 times 54 square root of 3. So I can multiply the 9 and the 54 together, and I get 486 and the square root of 3 on top. And on the bottom, it's 2 times 1 times 1, which is 2. If I divide 486 by 2, I can reduce those. That comes out to 243 square roots of 3, and that would be units squared, which is what you have provided as your answer. Okay, now that's a lot. It really is, but you have to apply 30, 60, 90s. Let's look at one more. Let's look at number 14. Number 14 is a hexagon. So I know that it's regular because it tells me at the top they're all regular, so I know they're all the same, and I know that the radius of this hexagon cuts that angle in half, but I don't want the radius. What do I want? I want the apothem which is that distance, so let's find it. Well, first of all, I need to find out what these angles are. 
Well, this being a hexagon and it being regular, what do you know about all the angles if they're regular? They're all the same, right? So I'm going to use n minus 2 times 180 to find the sum of all the angles and then divide that by n to find out what each one would be. So I'm going to do 6 minus 2 times 180 and divide that by 6. So 4 times 180 uh, is 720. And that means there's 720 degrees total interior. And each one's the same, each of the six angles. So I'm going to divide it by 6. So that gives me 120 degrees per angle. These are all 120s. Does that make sense? OK. They're all 120s. Now, since the radius cuts it in half, what's half of 120? 60. So there's your 30, 60, 90 again. I'm going to pull the 30, 60, and 90 out up here. And I can't draw very well. Your 60's here, your 30's here. You're given the 8, which is the hypotenuse, right? The hypotenuse, remember, is twice as big as the side across from the 30. So that would be 4. And then the 60 is the small side, square root of 3. So your apothem is 4 square root of 3. If this side, so that's 4 square root of 3, that's 4. So what would the whole side be if I've got 4 and 4? 8. So all of these are 8. Again, if you don't know 30, 60, 90, you're going to struggle. So the perimeter is going to be 6 sides at 8 apiece, Please pardon the interruption. Which is, Students, there will be an English one. Which is uh, 48. So that's my perimeter. Again. So now I'm going to do Sorry, algebra one. my EOC prep algebra one. EOC I have one half my apothem, which is four square roots of three over one times my perimeter, which is 48. So I'm going to multiply this across. So four times 48 is all we can multiply together. So I get 192 times the square root of 3 on top. And then I have 2 times 1 times 1 on the bottom, which is 2. So 192 divided by 2 is 96 square roots of 3 units squared. And that's how you find the area of a polygon when you're given the radius and not the apothem.